everybody this is tony from venture wetsuits and i just want to talk about the most epic blue water dive that I ever went on in 30 feet of water so we went out on the west side the crew was captain mo joe and jr and usually when we do blue water it's in the 100 to 300 foot range depending on what side of the island we are but we're on the west side of oahu was in about 100 feet of water and went to spots where i've seen onos i've seen shibis i've seen mahis and i've hit them there so we went out we blew watered for more than half a day and we didn't see nothing we were chumming with the flashes out the whole nine yards just absolutely nothing so just so we could take something home we hit, tried to hit reef after and well it just wasn't <laughs> it wasn't happening the spot we jumped in there was like nothing around everything was booking it on the move I see maybe one uhu there and it just wouldn't give me the time of day. So before we headed in and call it a day, everyone's kind of defeated, everybody's tired, you know, we invest all that time in blue water, just floating around, waiting. So JR recommended the spot that um, was like 25, 30 feet of water and we still had some chum to burn and he said that he's seen ukus there before, he's seen some game there before. so. Immediately, I grabbed some chum and throw it on my belt, and so I didn't want the chum to go to waste. So I've chummed up, I put on my belt, everybody else chummed up, and I jumped in. I was the first one in. I clearly remember this because it was the most epic blue water, 30 feet, 25 feet dive I ever did. So I immediately threw chum on my belt, I jumped in the water, and I swam out towards, I guess, towards away from shore, and... I just, you know, swimming around, I didn't see anything at all, anything at all, so I just felt like where I was, it was a good spot to try chum and just see what happened, so immediately I grabbed like four or five pieces and I'm just like making it rain, you know, given that the, how the day went, there's nothing, no, there's no fish in the cooler, there's like no expectations to shoot anything right now, and I think it's getting around like three o'clock, so I just dropped. A bunch of chum and this is what happens next so a shibi shows up it shows up I watch it as it eats the chum at the bottom and make another pass eat the chum at the bottom and I was just like you know I got nothing to lose so while I was watching it timing it it started to swim away as I dropped and I just did a little hand motion hoping it turn around and it did I took a shot and I just Man, the feeling I had, <laughs> I mean, Back I'm yelling for backup Back already. Up. The guys are still on the boat. I'm screaming my head off like, Back up. it's on. Back up. I really couldn't tell what kind of shot I had. And I knew that there's no way I'm landing this fish if someone doesn't jump in the water and hurry up and get to me. So I'm just slowly Back following up. it. <laughs> He's yelling. I mean, what else can you do is just hold on, hope the thing doesn't rip off, and hope that your dive partners can get there in time. So the fight is on. I mean, it's only been a few minutes into the fight, and it feels like forever just because the guys haven't showed up yet. They have no idea that there's a shibi on my line. My adrenaline's going, my heart is pumping. You can see it like I'm out of breath already. Just everything is just taking over my body and I'm just looking down at about 40 feet where I see the biggest GB Back up! I could potentially shoot and land. So 
where's my partners? I know they're tripping. I'm like pointing down, like shoot it, shoot it, come on. Mo's out of breath. He's kicking so fast to get to me. I just grab his gun and I'm like, I'm gonna take one good breath and I'm gonna shoot and get another backup shot in this fish right now. shoot it i hit it and i just look up like in all oh, man i start dancing i'm cheering i'm like yo let's go I don't care what you say. If you shot that randomly, 30 feet of water oh, yeah. with your boys, <laughs> with yeah, nothing else on the boat, so no other fish in the cooler, you'd act exactly the same way I'd be acting right now. So enjoy it. Every time you hit one prize fish, something you never shot before, something just epic. Doesn't matter if people shot bigger than you. Doesn't matter, you know, what else anybody else shot. It don't matter. Take it in, enjoy it. Enjoy every moment of it. That's why we do what we do. Charming day will come. So things started winding down. There's three shafts in the Shibi. And I started taking them out. First I took out Moe's and then I kind of look at my shot after. I wasn't even all the way through, bro. I, I would have lost it. Yeah. Look at that, not even 10 minutes in the water, bro. Look at that. Bro, I'm like this right now. Bro, look at my shot. It would never even go through. What? You just saw it? This is freezing. So I threw a chum and then I fixed my mask. I looked down. Oh, what the f? Turn on my camera, take a drop, went like this and right, right under me. You got everything. I everything. Yeah. Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> you Bro, it swam right under me. Right <laughs> under me. So this chibi came out 47 pounds. So it's, in Hawaii we call it chibi if it's anything under 100 pounds and it'll be tuna or ahi if it was over 100 pounds. It don't matter if it was 47, 27, 107. That was just epic. Like I was saying before man, you never know until you go. And uh, better lucky than good. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna start drinking already. You guys go get him boo. Here we go. I thank you guys. Thank you guys for your help. I, I give you guys slabs. <laughs> so I got back on the boat, man. I started dancing, started cheering, started FaceTiming everybody, sending pics to everybody, texting my whole family. I mean, you name it. And I just stayed on the boat. I was just admiring my fish, admiring my catch. Cracked a couple beers and I was like, yo, I am <laughs> just 
<laughs> I still remember the feeling. That's that's the thing about this knife. I still remember the feeling. And every time I watch the video, even when I'm yelling, screaming my head off, laughing with my boys, I'm just like that feeling always comes back to me. I drank a beer. <laughs> I was so amped to drink a drink a beer out of the gills. I was just losing my mind. So I'm gonna give away a gift card. I'm gonna give away four gift cards to our website, VentureWebSuits.com. And to enter, all I want you to do is subscribe and comment below what is your most memorable catch. I wanna know what your most memorable catch is, where it was, what you shot, and just that emotion, emotion that you had landing that epic fish. Okay, so that's it. Four winners, four $25 gift cards to our website. All you gotta do is subscribe and comment below your epic catch. Till next time, like, subscribe, and join us on our next venture. Shoot.